Inmates, how is life behind bars? Not these bars, these bars. I hope you're well. And today I'm bringing you a video on a product called Visor Lights. That is spelt like that. Some of you in especially stateside would call it Weezer, but it's Visor, I think it's a German name. But they're not made in Germany. They're actually manufactured here in the UK and sold globally. And we are now selling them here. So to get the actual, the end bit out of the way, let's do the end bit now, and then I'll talk you through this product. We've got them on the website now. We have them in stock here. So we've got the front turn signals here for your bike, and we have the rear turn signals here for your bike. And then if you want to save some money, we, we do a combination pack where you have front and rear, and you can save quite a bit of money actually. So it's worth taking a look on the website at the Visor Technic brand. So if you're on your own mobile phone, make sure you press that filter at the top, scroll down to the brand, pick your bike as well. That makes it very helpful because it takes out all the rubbish. But if you pick your actual bike on there, choose Visor Technic, and then you'll see the lights on there. The lights I'm gonna show you will work on every bike from 2004, 2003, 2004, all of the R1200 and R1250 bikes. However, as a lot of you will know, in 2021, they changed the bike to what I've got here behind me, which has got the multifunction turn signals. So you should all recognize what this is. This is the rear light on a 2021 model onwards, which is a multifunctional rear light. These lights act as a run light, a brake light, and an indicator. And then on the front of the bike, you've got these. And once again, this is a multifunctional turn signal because it acts as an amber DRL and it flashes amber when you use the turn signals. Whereas on the bikes pre-2021, they're off all the time and then they flash when you indicate. It's just a single purpose light. So it's important to know that we have two types here, but we've got them for your bike. So when you're on the website and you're shopping and you put in R1250, GS or R1250 GSA, look very carefully at the description because you need to make sure you get the right ones based on the year of your bike. So if you have an R1250 GS or GSA 2019 or 2020, I'm not on about the year your bike was registered, I'm on about the year of your bike because my bike here is a 2021 bike, but it was registered in December 2020. So make sure you know what bike you've got. Also, I've heard there's some even further complications. I think I've only ever seen one. You can have a 2021 bike onwards that hasn't got the multifunctional turn signals. So be, be aware of that as well. But generally speaking, what I'm saying is, um, is, is true. So if you've got the multifunctional turn signals, make sure you pick the, the correct bike on the website. I'm waffling on, let's crack on. So I've already taken both my turn signals off my bike and I absolutely love what I've got now. And now I've got this on my bike, I can't wait to go out for a ride and approach those junctions with a little bit more confidence. Let me explain. If you've heard of Visor, you're probably aware of the solution that they are that solves the issue. If you haven't heard of Visor, well then listen up. On a lot of Facebook forums over the past couple of years, since the new 2021 bikes came out, there's been a few people who have had accidents. Probably some of them ha have been fatal. I I I'm not sure, hopefully not. People have reported, so I'm talking about the front turn signals to begin with, and then I go on to the rear turn signals. And the issue that people have expressed is, because we've got these two amber lights at the front of our bike, well, as we're traveling towards a junction, so we are on the main A road, and we have a junction to our left or our right, and the driver in that car, well, his mind's probably on other things. And he takes one glance at our bike as we're coming down the road, doing a sensible speed. And all he sees is an amber light. And he thinks you're turning into the road that he's pulling out from. Before you know it, he's pulled out. Your actual intention is just to go straight on in a straight line. He's pulled out, you T-bone him right in the side. You end up going over the top of the car. You write your bike off. There's been pictures online of this. I'm not trying to scaremonger you. Those of you who are on Facebook and you are a part of a social media platform um, to do with the R1250 GS or any of the modern BMWs with these multifunctional turn signals, you know I'm what I'm telling you is true because we've seen the pictures online of where this has happened. So the visor lights gets rid of this problem straight away because we can turn our front turn signals into a white DRL. 
How cool is that? How cool is that? So on my bike here, I've got it as a white DRL. When I indicate right, the right side flashes. When I indicate left, the left side flashes. It gets rid of all that confusion for those silly car drivers out there who aren't paying attention. And that's the important thing. We need to make sure we're seen and we're not confusing the drivers on the road, making them think we're turning when we're not. Then moving on to the rear turn signals. Don't know if it's more dangerous or not really, but for whatever reason, BMW have decided to make their run lights and their brake lights fight for the same space that the indicator is flashing amber. Now, if you look very carefully, I've got footage here of showing you the factory turn signal. Even when you are braking, both sides are braking. And then when the amber indicator comes on, it flashes and tries to get through the brightness of the red light. The reports have been, and I've had it myself on my own bike, where I've got someone behind me saying, Steve, your, your indicator, your turn signal, isn't as clear to me that you're actually turning. Because you're braking, it's just so bright, I can't see the amber, which is lying in the middle of the arrow of that directional turn signal. You just can't see it because the red is too bright. The visor lights gets rid of that problem. The visor lights will give you a red run light. It will give you a brighter brake light. And then when you indicate, it takes all of the red away from that respective side and just flashes amber. However, we've got two options. We have option one and option two. I've currently got option two on my bike and I'll show you both options. But option two is where it toggles. So when I indicate right, it will go amber, red, amber, red. When I hit the brake, it won't get brighter on the side that I'm indicating. It will just go amber, red, amber, red. Whereas the left side, well, that goes obviously to full brightness because we're braking. And don't forget, on the modern bikes with the multifunctional turn signals, you've got the center light, which is only a brake light. So flipping back to the older bikes, well, we're not talking about old bikes, but the pre-multifunctional indicator bikes, so a 2019 or a 2016 R1200, those ones, that center light at the back, that is a run light and a brake light. But on the newer bikes, it's just a brake light. If I want to, I can take the cover off the indicator, off the visor indicator, and pull out the little printed circuit board. It's ever so easy. It sounds like it, you're, you're diving into the electronics that you, don't, you might not understand, but it, it's not like that. And I'll show you how easy it is to put it all together. We're gonna to show you in this video how we install them. But you pull out the PCB, the printed circuit board, which is completely waterproof, by the way, which is pretty cool, um, the actual circuit board itself. You, you pull it out and then there's like a little slider, like a, a slip that goes over a, a couple of pins. You just take it from position two back to position one and that will then program that rear turn signal to indicate just as an amber turn signal. So you've got your red run light, you've got your brake lights, but when you indicate it kills all the red light going to that respective side. So instead of toggling red amber, red amber, it goes amber off, amber off, amber off. Now, there's an issue with that because it means as soon as you, you're doing that, then you've only got one side which is running as a run light. You've just got one little turn signal on the other side, which is your run light. And you've got this amber light going on and off, which means you've got less light on the back of your bike momentarily. It's not like me to do upselling, but if you've got an easy can on your bike with a rear B6 light, well then you can program that rear B6 light to be a run light, can't you? which obviously gets brighter when you brake as well. But when you have it in position one on the visor lights, well, we can have the B6 on all the time as a run light at let's say 20% brightness, which gives you that extra visibility. Now that problem I've just talked about doesn't exist on the models pre the 2021 bikes because the center light at the back is a run light and a brake light. Now, the indicators on your pre-2021 bike aren't run lights. You fit a set of these to your older R1200, R1250 or your R1200 GS or GSA, and these will run as a run light as well as a brake light, and they'll, they'll indicate as well. So it gives you even more visibility at the back than you currently have a standard. That's pretty awesome. Now, if you've been watching the channel uh, carefully, you'll know that we've got a project bike here. 
it's a motorcycle which is brand new and has not been registered yet. It's a 2023 model BMW GS, the 20 litre tank version. Uh, we've got it fully loaded and we are slowly doing work to it and we'll be making this bike a, a, like a very special project bike which will be available for sale towards spring this year. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned because that's gonna be a pretty special bike. But whilst it's all stripped down in bits, the wheels off, the forks off, everything, going off to the painters and getting the, the special bike thing treatments, we thought we'd fit these visor lights to that bike. Take a look at this short video of us removing the factory lights, putting the visor lights on, showing you how easy it is to install them. I think the key thing I should have mentioned right at the beginning of this video is they are plug and play. You just unplug your factory turn signals and you plug these in. But you don't stop just there. 
There's then these other wires that are coming out from each turn signal. So on the newer bikes, it's just a single wire. On the older bikes, there's a couple more wires, but the instructions inside are very simple. Let, let me just open this up now so you can see exactly how straightforward this is. So this is what you get. You get the instructions and then you get a box of bits in there to do the job. This is a combination kit, by the way. So you've got both front and rear in here with the, all the bits inside here, which you need. When you open this up, there's your instructions. So you've got little diagrams in here showing you what you need to be doing. But the key thing for me, because I'm, I'm one of these people that I like visuals rather than text. You've got both here, you've got visuals and text. But that diagram there, just by looking at that and studying that for around about 10 seconds, that tells me everything I need to know to install this on the bike. So as I said, you unplug the factory turn signals, you plug in the new ones, you, you fit them, you wire them in, you plug them straight into the BMW sockets on the bike, and then there's a relay that comes with it. Now it's up to you whether you use the relay or not. The only times that you wouldn't use the relay is if you were going to wire in this one wire to an easy can. You don't need to, you don't need an easy can for this at all. So you don't need any extra spare circuits. If you don't know what an easy can is, where have you been? <laughs> but if you don't know what one is, I'll put a link to a video up here so you get a full understanding of what the easy can is. Actually, I did a Triumph video very recently, which uh, towards the end of it has got a really, really good explanation of what the easy can does and, and how it works on, a, on the new Triumph Tigers. But it's exactly the same principle on a BMW GS as well. The only reason why we would put this one wire that comes from this kit into an easy can is to not be using the relay. It means you don't have to put anything extra on the battery. Also, once that relay's in place, we have to splice in. It all comes, it comes with everything in the kit you need to do this, and it tells you which wire to splice. You need to splice into one of the wires at the back on the brake light, so you can get a trigger to, to trigger the relay to power up the run lights on both front and rear. If we get really technical, we can split the rear from the front, we could, we could put the, um, the front lights on a light pair circuit and we could actually get these front lights strobing if we really wanted them to, but I'm not interested in doing that. We just need to get these as clear turn signals. So I thought rather than use this bike to show you how we wired it all on because there's so much on this bike, your eyes are gonna be going all over the place in the back of this bike because we've got so many wires under the rear seat. I did the video on the project bike, hence why you'll see it all jacked up in the air without the wheels on there because bits have been sent off for powder coating and painting, etc. Whilst we are doing a major install to it, it's going to be an incredible bike actually when it comes out. Uh, I know I'm going off on a tangent here, but you've got to stay tuned for that video because it's going to be probably the best GS ever until someone does a better one in the future, which will probably be us anyway. So, <laughs> right. So what do you think of these visor lights? Would you like us to install them for you? Are you here in the UK? We have a fitting center here, right here. Your bike could be sitting in here in the next couple of weeks. We could be working on your bike. I'll put a link down below to the fitting page. I'll show you on the screen right now so you can see what the fitting page looks like. It's all gonna be changing soon because we have got a new website coming, but when you're on that fitting page, you'll see we've got a calendar on there. We've got our address on there with Google Maps showing you exactly where we are in the world so you know where to come. You'll notice that the diary gets pretty packed up when it starts warming up here in the UK. It's worth keeping an eye on it because a lot of you guys who are booking your bikes in, you change your mind at the last minute. Not because you're changing money, you don't want to come here, it's because you've got something else on and you want to postpone it for a week later. So sometimes we get cancellations coming up. So keep an eye on that fitting calendar and we can get this visit to your bike. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think to this product. I think it's friggin' awesome. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's got a four year warranty on it as well. How great is that? I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was nice and informative for you. I hope it's not too long and thank you for staying tuned. Until next time, stay safe behind bars. Not these bars, these bars. I'll see you in the next video.